This is the new 3M Extract Sander, and in this video I'm going to be testing it out and comparing it with this, the Merca D-Ross Sander. Later in the video I'll talk about how both of these sanders came into my life, and I'll talk about some of the issues I've had in the past with the Merca too. First I'm going to fit one of these pad savers to the 3M Sander. That basically ensures that when I'm removing and adding discs to the sander, this pad saver, which is sacrificial, is going to get worn out rather than the pad on the actual sander itself. And secondly, I'm going to fit one of these CTS dust extraction adapters, and that fits on there really nicely. And now I can hook that up to my usual workshop hose. The 3M has red lights to indicate that it's off, so if I switch it on, it'll turn to green and the plus and minus controls the speed of the sander, and there are seven bars of speed. When the Merc is off, you get no lights at all. If I turn that on, you'll get a green light here. The Merc is currently set to maximum speed, but there's no power bar to indicate that, but I can turn it down, one, two, three, four, five, six. It flashes red each time, and then when you can't go any slower, it doesn't light up. So that power bar on the 3M is definitely a preference for me. But realistically, I very rarely use the speed settings anyway. They're pretty much always set to maximum. The Merca d -Ross has a detachable power cord, which I think is an advantage. Although if you like me have one of these adapters fitted, it's always difficult to get to. And it's also quite difficult to remove as well. There's a button to press and then you can pull it out. But having a replaceable cord on this is a really good thing, I think, because obviously if the power cord fails at any point, you can easily replace it. The power cord on the 3M is built into the unit. I've mentioned before on the channel that you can often tell the quality of the tool by the quality of the cable attached to it. And I've got to say, both of these cables are really nice quality, nice rubberized cables, and they both seem really long too, but let's check out which is longest. So it looks like the Merca has the shorter cable, the 3M has probably about another 400 to 500 mil additional length. One of my favorite things about the Merca is just how low profile it is. Very ergonomic to use, and I'm happy to say that the 3M looks to be an identical height. Both sanders from sanding pad to the top of the body are measuring about 97 millimeters. I also really like how lightweight the Merca sander is. You can see here it measures 1.156 kg. And that means if you're sanding vertical surfaces or even sanding upside down, this sander is great for that. The 3M measures 1.262, so a little bit heavier. But realistically, if I hold them both in my hands, you really can't tell too much of a difference. In terms of comfort, the 3M has a more girthy body. So I should imagine most bigger hands are going to prefer the 3M, whereas the smaller hands are going to prefer the Merca. I have quite small hands, but actually I find both of them equally comfortable to use in operation. In terms of build quality, they both feel like really premium high-end tools. If I had to give it one way or the other, I'm probably going to give it to the Merca purely just because it has that detachable cable. My Merca D-Ross came with a 24 millimeter spanner, allowing you to change it out for the smaller 125 millimeter backing pad. Realistically though, I've never used that feature. I just keep the 150 mil pad fitted all of the time. Wow, this needs a clean. I'm not sure if the 3M sander has an interchangeable pad, but interestingly, the spanner does fit. But this is a new tool, so I'm not gonna mess about with it. With both sanders set to maximum speed, they both seem to take about the same amount of time to speed up when you press down on the trigger. But I've noticed that the Merca is significantly quicker at stopping when you take your hand off the trigger. I'll try and show you that now. Both sanders jolt when you take your hand off the trigger, as you can see there. But with the 3M, the jolt is far more vigorous. Here I'm setting up the sanders at one meter from my phone so that I can test the noise levels. This is the Merca. The d averaged around 73 decibels. And this is the 3M and the extract averaged around 79, and I have to say it has quite an unpleasant tone to it. I've seen a lot of reviews on YouTube referring to this as a low noise sander, but I have to disagree. Next, I'm going to test sanding speed with both sanders set to maximum. Both sanders have top speeds of 10,000 RPM and a five millimeter orbit, so I expected them to perform similarly. I fitted a new 80 grit disc to each sander, The 
the 3M extract was quicker. I repeated this test again off camera just to double check my results and the timings were pretty consistent so the extract does seem to have a slightly faster removal weight. Next I'll test dust extraction. I'm using one of Peter Millard from 10 Minute Workshop's tricks of putting down a black bin liner to help highlight any dust so that I can sand the workpiece vertically. I give it a good clean before each test so that I can make sure there is no dust and then start the tests. It's not particularly easy to see in this lighting so I turned off the main lights and set up a raking light which showed that the Mercadiros outperformed the 3M extract for collecting more dust particles. And the next test is sanding quality. I want to see if pigtail marks are a problem and I'm going to sand one end of this board with each sander. I then applied some dark oak stain to help highlight any sanding scratches and this one proved to be inconclusive. Both sanders left some pigtail marks but not particularly prominently and I'm confident that sanding after with a 120 grit disc would remove these scratches very quickly so they both performed really well here. Right so it's now been about two weeks since I got the 3M extract sander and I've been using it as my main sander to get a feel for it and I've realised that for me there's only one winner between the extract and the DROS but it's a thing that I can't really demonstrate to you in tests unfortunately. But before I explain that I want to say that I do like both sanders and if I had the choice between a consumer grade sander and either one of these premium sanders I would take either of them and I'd be happy mainly because that 5mm orbit provides a faster removal rate and the low profile low weight bodies. But these are very expensive tools and if I was spending my own hard earned money having tried both of these sanders there's only one of them that I'd be happy with and that is the Mercadiros. And the reason for that is the smoothness of operation. In use it's much smoother, more pleasant sander to use. It seems to have less vibration and it feels like the more refined tool. Whereas the 3M extract feels a little harder to control, a little bit jerky when it's starting and stopping. And while I would say it is a low vibration sander, it just doesn't seem to be as effective at that as the DROS does. In addition to that, those who've been watching my channel for a while will know that loud tools really bother me for some reason. And yes, I know that most of us are wearing ear defenders most of the time while using tools, but still, I just prefer quieter tools and the motor in the 3M extract sounds a lot more like a more consumer level sander. One that you might expect to pay in the region of 50 to 150 pounds for, whereas the Merca motor is much less offensive to the ears. It is possible that perhaps I got a bad example with my extract sander, but I can only review my experience of the tool that I have here. There are a lot of reviews of this tool on the internet saying it's the best sander out there and calling it a low noise sander. And at this point, I don't know if maybe those people aren't quite telling the truth or maybe they've not had the chance to compare it to the DROS. Or as I said, maybe I did get a bad example. One thing is clear though, based on my tests, the extract does have a faster removal rate and ultimately, which is the better sander for you will depend on what exactly you're looking for. And when you look at the price point of these tools, the cheapest I could find the DROS for online right now is about £480 and the cheapest I can find the extract for is £455. My advice would be to spend that little bit extra to get the DROS for the smoothness of operation, the truly low noise motor and fast removal rate despite it not being quite as fast as the extract. All that being said, reliability is a big factor too and I've talked before about some reliability issues that I've had with my DROS in the past. I'll leave some links in the description box to videos that will go into more detail on the problems that I experienced. But what I don't think I've mentioned on this channel before is that this is actually my second DROS. The first DROS which I bought in 2018 I actually sold on eBay back in November 2021 and there were three reasons why I decided to buy a new one despite the reliability problems that I'd experienced in the past. One, I got offered a really good deal on a new one. Two, I had heard that the newer DROS models had had some improvements made that ultimately meant they were now more reliable. And three, because I had some trust issues with my first DROS, I wanted to take full advantage of the three year extended warranty that comes with buying a new one. You might also be wondering why I ended up with a 3M extract sander when I was perfectly happy with my Merca DROS. 
Basically, I've been working with a PR company recently to help promote 3M extract sanding discs, which I am a huge fan of. I've talked about how much I like them on my channel before, so when they reached out offering to pay me to make some videos to promote them, I jumped at the chance as I only ever take on sponsorships for products that I love and would choose to spend my own hard-earned money on. Anyway, as part of that deal, they offered to send me the 3M extract sander, and so that's how I ended up with it. And I'm probably gonna keep it too because it makes a great backup if I do have any issues with the Mercadiros in future. Finally, I just want to make it clear that I have no affiliation with 3M or Merca. Neither company knows that I am making this video and I'm under no obligations whatsoever to show these sanders or talk about them in my videos. So as always, the views presented in this video are my own honest ones. Thank you for watching.